Welcome to your children's preschool graduation ceremony. We're really thrilled to have each of you here tonight, and we're hoping that you know what a joy and a privilege and how much we are just filled with excitement each and every day that these children come into our, our hallways, and we want to thank you for sharing them with us. And um, I, I know this is a very exciting time because we're celebrating tonight all the things that they have learned, and um, and we've seen them grow so much since the beginning of the year, and so we're very excited. They've worked especially, especially hard. We started working on this as soon as we returned from spring break, so literally, we've been practicing every day for six weeks, um, and they are very, very excited, and I think they're prepared to share with you tonight. But what they're going to share with you is just, quite frankly, a very brief overview of what they're actually capable of doing and what they've really accomplished this year. But rather than me continue to tell you about it and just continue to brag on how well they've done, I don't just think, I know that you would much rather hear them tell you all about what they've learned on their own. But before we begin tonight, I would like to introduce you to somebody that I know is probably a very familiar face to many of you, and that's the pastor here at the church at Liberty Park, Pastor Randy Overstreet, and he's here tonight along with several others. Um, that are part of the church staff, and they're here tonight in support of your graduates. And we've asked him to come in and to open our program and our ceremony with a word of prayer and um, a word from his heart as well. So, Pastor Randy, would you come now? Thank you, Carrie. Um, I know that they have been practicing for six weeks because I wake up at 1.30 in the morning singing the one vowel raps. <laughs> so I'm very familiar with those things. Uh, but very thankful for you, very thankful that we get as, to, uh, as a church to celebrate with you as moms and dads and grandparents and even some great grandparents here tonight of uh, just uh, the, the accomplishment of your children's uh, uh, great year in the past program. Uh, your children bring us great joy every day. They bring life and energy to this place. I love coming in after a breakfast meeting and, and there they are. There's, there's a gauntlet. Uh, that you have to go through. They're all going to say something to you. Uh, hello, want to give you a high five. And it's just a joy just to interact with your kids. And, and, and we know that each and every day while they're downstairs and we're upstairs working and preparing ministry for the church, uh, they're being loved, taught, cared for, invested in. And, uh, and because we think that being stewards of your children uh, is a great honor. And so we hope that tonight you'll see some of the end result of that. But I just want to pray for us and that we'll have a great night. Let's pray. Uh, Father, we're very thankful uh, for this opportunity to pause and thank you for uh, our children, our grandchildren, our great-grandchildren. Uh, Lord, uh, they are a blessing. That's what your word says. And, uh, Father, that they're like arrows in the hands of warriors. And, Father, I'm so thankful for Carrie and Danielle and the whole staff and pals that um, we point them to your glory and your goodness. We want them to know that they are made in the image of God, that they're image bearers of God. And Father, they are fearfully and wonderfully made and that God has such a purpose for them. So tonight we pray as we sing and as they rap, as they talk and as they receive their diplomas, that it would be for your glory uh, and, uh, and their uh, enjoyment. And we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. If you give a mouse a cookie, he is going to ask you for a glass of milk to go with it. If you give a cat a cupcake, oh goodness, he's definitely going to want some sprinkles to go on top. And if you give a dog a donut, then he's going to want some apple juice to go with it. And if you give a pig a pancake, then she is going to want some syrup. Now, these are all great stories, and they're some of my personal favorites, some that we share here a lot at the preschool. But I wonder what would happen if you give a teacher a classroom. Hmm, let's find out. If you give a teacher a classroom, 
Let's see what it says. Hmm. If you give a teacher a classroom, then she's probably going to ask for some children to fill it. children, then she's probably going to ask you for a rug so she can start her day with circle time.
realize that her class really needs to get busy writing their numbers, and she will probably quiz them to make sure they know which number comes first.
after using their best listening ears during chapel, the teacher will recognize that the class probably needs a little bit of a break. So she will send them off to music where they can sing and shake out all of their wiggles. up the music, and trust me, they will be, she will realize that she needs to turn their attention to something else. So she will ask for some alphabet flashcards, maybe some books, so the children can join her for reading groups.
that she will have to let them go. The preschool. 
soon end. And chances are, if this story ends and your children go to the big school, the teachers will probably ask us for a new class next so she can start all over again next year. The end. inside and be recognized for all their accomplishments as true graduates and you know the diplomas that they're going to receive later these represent and they stand for outstanding work that your children have done but they also stand for a whole lot of other things they stand and they, re they represent our church staff they represent our faculty they represent you as parents and of course you know, they represent themselves for all the hard work that they've accomplished. So tonight I'd like to take just a minute while they're putting their hats on to say a, a few special thank yous. First of all, I would really and truly like to um, especially thank our uh, Church at Liberty Park staff. They are a huge part of Liberty Pals. They're a great support system for us. Um, they're always very hands-on, and they, they pretty much any request or anything that, that I ask, they, they, they come through every time. And they were hugely instrumental in helping us make all this happen in here tonight. So if you see some of them out and about, please be sure to thank them. Secondly, I'd like to thank our PALS faculty, and not just our 4K teachers, which are amazing. Um, I love all of them, but our whole entire staff. You know, they get your kids out of the car every day. They all know everybody. They call them by name. Um, the kids know them, and um, and they treat them just like they're uh, their own. So I want to thank the you know the faculty, and I couldn't let tonight end without us also saying a special thank you to my sidekick Danielle. Uh, we have a lot of fun together. She's our assistant director, and um, like me, she taught many years at Powell's before she took on a new role. And so um, this has kind of been different for us to be in administration, but we, you know, it's, once a teacher, always a teacher, you can't get it out of your system. So we sneak in the classroom as much as we can and read to the children and work with them one-on-one -on -one if they're struggling a little bit. Many a day, I'll pull kids out of 4K and they're sitting at my desk doing handwriting with me or whatever. So, um, so she's a great help. Um, we have a lot of fun together. And then last but not least, I definitely want to thank you, our pals' parents. Um, you know, just for taking the time to entrust your children to each, uh, you know, each and every day. Um, that, that's hard, you know, to, um, to, to let them go, <laughs> you know, and now you're going to be letting them go again at the big school. And I can remember when um, we first moved to Montevallo. I don't live here, if you don't know that. A lot of people don't know that about me, but I don't live in Liberty Park. I live in Montevallo, and I drive every day. And um, I can remember my son was in the very first graduating class of 4K here at Liberty Pals. And we were moving to Montevallo, and he was going to start kindergarten there. And I remember I went to this big kindergarten parent meeting, you know, and there was this very seasoned um, kindergarten teacher standing at the mic, you know, and she said, I just want to tell you that ketchup is not a food group. And if your child can't open a ketchup packet, they just won't eat it. <laughs> and, you know, I just was like, 
oh my goodness, you know, because I was a 4K teacher here then, and I was like, okay, when I get back to school, maybe everybody's going to know how to open a straw and a ketchup packet and uh, do their own lunchbox, and my kids going from 4K are going to go to kindergarten knowing how to do everything, because that is not going to happen to them. I can't think of my babies crying because they can't have ketchup on their chicken nuggets, you know. So, um, so anyway, <laughs> it, we do take to heart, you know, just... Just the fact that you do entrust them to us. And we are working really hard, not just to teach them ABCs and 1, 2, 3s, but so many other things. You know, I heard somebody say that what you give children, they'll receive. And what you tell children, they'll believe. And we don't just tell them about the ABCs and the 1, 2, 3s. We most importantly teach them about God and His love for them. And yes, they've accomplished a lot academically. But if we left here without sharing them the love of Jesus, then we would have failed miserably. So... These children are uniquely created, and God has a special plan for their lives, and so without further ado, it is time for us to recognize our little friends and get them graduated, and they are so excited. So at this time, we would like to ask Pastor Randy to join us center stage, and then we will recognize our graduates from Miss Tiffany's 4K class. John Martin Christian. Mia Gonzalez. Brooklyn Kelly. William Richardson. Aiden Simon. Mabel Smith. Nora Grace Turner. Walters, thank you, Miss Tiffany. And now we have Miss Mallory's class, James Adams.
Xander Alice Mail. Graham Collins. Miles Eichelberger. Miriam Hillsinger. Genevieve King. Peyton Mitchell. Collins Ross. Jane Smith. <laughs> Millie West. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Mallory. <laughs> and now we recognize the graduates in Miss Lacey's class. Bertie Bergman. Arvind Shivali. Caroline Christian. Reagan Harden. Stella Headley. Daphne Jones. Brooks Lichter. Merritt Patterson. Judah Schmidt. Thank you, Ms. Lacey. And now it is a great pleasure that I present to you our 2023 4K graduates. So give them one more hand. All right, and now we'd like to recognize the graduates from our transitional kindergarten class which we like to call K-Trap around here. And I've been blessed and very fortunate to be able to wear two hats because I not only get to direct your wonderful children each day, but then I also um, have been blessed to be able to pull them out and to teach these kids in the K-Prep class, this transitional uh, kindergarten. And it is a little small group, so what we do is we homeroom them in a regular 4K class so they can do all the fun things like playground and chapel and music and lunch and snack and all those things, um, you know, with their friends in a bigger group. And then I pull them out twice a day and then I teach them the kindergarten material. So they have a little one-on-one -on -one time and it's been, it's been very productive. We have a really good time. So here are the graduates from our transitional kindergarten k prep class. Evie Grace Burford.
Bradley Dobbins.